Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Pius Nkonzo Langa and to request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Laws and Oros Kosa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken on the grounds of the following considerations. Pius Nkonzo Langa worked in a clothes factory before his appointment as messenger and interpreter at the Department of Justice in 1960. Private study through UNISA enabled him to obtain B. Juris and LLB, the latter in 1976. And it enabled him to practice as an advocate. In 1994, he was appointed as one of the first judges at South Africa's new constitutional court, becoming Deputy Chief Justice in 1997 and later Chief Justice. Until his retirement in 2009, he was Chief Justice of South Africa. Judge Langa has chaired the Judicial Service Commission and the Southern African Judges Commission, a forum of Chief Justice in Southern and East Africa. He served on the Executive Committee of the Democratic Lawyers Association, was a founder member and president of the National Association of Democratic Lawyers and served as a commissioner of the Pre-Constitutional Human Rights Commission, later known as the Human Rights Committee. Sedert sy vroege werkslewe was hy as township inwoner nou betrokke by opheffings en gemeenskapsbedrijwighede, soos help aan jeug en ontspanningsklips. Sy loopbaan as advocaat het van die stormachtigste jaar in die Zuid-Afrikaanse geschiedenis bestrek. Hy was een kampvechter vir gerechtigheid en een democratische bestel in Zuid-Afrika en het gereeld opgetree vir mense wat aangekla is van politieke misdrijwe en bedrijwighede by vakbonde en ander openbare lichame. He was involved in the founding of the South African Legal Defense Fund which provided for the legal cost of people who were charged under apartheid legislation Langa was, was onder meer betrokken bij de UDF, de United Democratic Front, CODESA, de Convention for a Democratic South Africa, en deze opvolger, die veel partij onderhandelingsforum, als ook die grote skier en Pretoria gesprekken, oorgesprekken, waar die oorgang tot de democratische bestel voor afgegaan het. He not only played an essential role in the negotiations that paved the way for a new South African dispensation, but also in the process that made this a reality, such as those relating to the release of political prisoners, the transformation of the police services, and investigating covert activities in the National Defense Force. As a judge of the Constitutional Court, he contributed significantly to the development of a constitutional jurisprudence. He was responsible for a number of key judgments. Langa has been a visiting professor in America he has received honorary doctorates from universities in South Africa and overseas. Mr. Chancellor, I hereby request that you confer on Pius Nkonzo Langa the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa for his contribution as champion of justice and a democratic dispensation in South Africa and as one of the first judges of the Constitutional Court, later as Chief Just, Judge of our country, South Africa. I confer on you, Pius Nkonzo Langa, the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa.
Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Vice Chancellor, Chairman of Council, Members of Council, honoured guests. Justice Langa was called to the bar in 1977, and there he worked until 1994. You will recall these years as some of probably the most momentous years in the turbulent history of this country. It was exacting times. It was a time that called for people to stand up and be counted. <clears throat> Justice Langa was one of those people who stood up. His work was characterized by a concern for the marginalized, the oppressed. And he emerged as a champion of dignity, justice, and democratic principles. He was a progressive lawyer in the truest sense of the word. <clears throat> On that basis, he proceeded to become one of the principal architects of our constitutional dispensation, being involved in both the drafting of the interim constitution and our present constitution. The jurisprudence of the constitutional court is infused with his knowledge of the law, his experience, and his wisdom. As the leader of the <coughs> judiciary, when he became Chief Justice, he entrenched the independence of our courts and he thereby enhanced the stature of our judiciary internationally. This lifetime of achievement has attracted recognition and accolades on a global scale. And we are deeply honored and privileged that Justice Langa now also holds a degree from this university. So, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and let us celebrate a lifetime devoted to the realization of social justice in this land. Justice Langa. Mr. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, I saw a movie once. I'm not an avid movie goer, but the name of this movie is The Packet List. I think all of you have seen it. <laughs> and all of you probably associate it with old people because it's a movie of two old guys who were very much aware that the time on this earth is passing fast and they decided that before we die we need to do this and that and that and that. They compiled the list. I'll come back to that list. I think I'm one of the most fortunate people in this country. Fortunate because I have seen the worst of it and I've been given the opportunity to take part in improving it and I've seen the helplessness of those who are trying to improve what is going wrong in this country but I'm still there as an observer. I'm still there as a retired judge, but still making speeches, still trying as hard as I can to improve this country. Now, coming to the bucket list, I retired as Chief Justice and as a judge of the Constitutional Court in 2009. The moment I sat down after taking off my robes, I became aware. I remembered the words of one gentleman who said, so much to do so little done. He was dying when he said this. 
and I became aware of what lies ahead, what needs to be done. I asked myself a question. The question was, really, why are we in this world if our task is not to improve it, if we're going to leave it before it improves, why were we put in it? But I've said to you that I've been one of the most fortunate people. I've seen the bad and the good. I've seen what we still need to, to do. And that is on my bucket list. Uh, on my list are thousands of things. We come from a South Africa which has been struggling. We come from a South Africa which was two worlds and we are trying to bring it together to be one world. We come from a South Africa which resolved that everyone is entitled to social justice. And it also says it is our job to do that. I try to tick off from my bucket list and I find something else coming in its place. We come from a South Africa where education has not, could not be taken for granted for millions of people. I, grateful as I am, and I'm very, I feel very honored that Stellenbosch University has bestowed this honor to me. But this is the nearest I'm getting to being a university student or a university graduate, practically. We come from a South Africa where millions had no hope, even of that fortune which was bestowed on me and which you, the university community of Stellenbosch, have seen fit to acknowledge me with. Now, on my bucket list, how do we equalize education? We speak of many stars who are outside, who don't have access to the things that we have access to. That's another tick on the bucket list. But having said all that, and having said that I'm one of the most fortunate people, I've got my children here. They have been through university. Uh, I had my, I mean, if these were Oscars, I would be saying, Ma, this is for you. <laughs> I would be saying to my father, Daddy, this is for you. So I do say this to my children, this is for you. But I also say to my colleagues who have been with me during the last 15, 16, 17 years at the Constitutional Court. This is also for you. I say also to my colleagues who were with me before I became a judge, and this is for you. This is what during the 80s, using John Dugard's cows as a meeting place, this is what we're dreaming of, a new constitution, human rights, social justice. We were dreaming of a new South Africa, which would be the same for everyone, and not equalized down, but equalized up. In other words, the standards of living of everyone. 
would be higher. On my bucket list, another tick. That is what we're fighting for. This is for you, my comrades, who were with me then. And this is for those pathfinders, pioneers. And I do mention John Dugat, who has not received generally the recognition that he has deserved. This is for you too, John. Thank you. Thank you.